asked to, I've been asked to offer prayer for our children. But I want to share, um, after the events of Staten Island and Ferguson, Missouri, the Mars community asked Bethel to open its doors so that the youth could come and share and their voices would be heard. And we graciously agreed and on January 9th, I thank our mayor for coming and those who attended to hear the voices of our children. What surprised me, and I felt personally responsible, that when the children began to speak, their eyes filled with tears, their voices trembled, because they shared that in the school districts in Morris County, their voices were not heard. They were not allowed to discuss the events of Ferguson, Missouri in class. They were not allowed to speak of what happened in Staten Island. They were told what to think and how to respond, and they trembled, and they cried and they are afraid. And so as we pray to our God, our Creator, I pray that we will have the courage to listen. Another young woman traveled, a young white American woman traveled from Berkeley Heights, who was frustrated because her mother and father and brother and sister would not let her talk about those events at the dinner table. And I'm glad that Bethel was able to open up our doors so that she could come and share. And she admonished us that we ought to keep speaking if it makes people uncomfortable, keep speaking anyway. And so as we go to the throne of grace, I ask that you would take someone by the hand and pray with me that we would have the courage to listen to the prayers of our children. Oh, wise and eternal God, we come on today asking for your forgiveness. When we responded to the events of Sandy Hook Elementary School, we responded because we cared about the children. But when children of a darker hue suffered, died, we didn't respond. We were not careful to listen. We shut down people who wanted to cry out. We called armed guards and martial law and we shut them down. And our children stood by and watched. God, forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our sins of silence. Forgive us for our sins of ignorance. Forgive us for our sins of impatience. God, we pray that our children would look to us and we would set godly examples, letting them know that the best is yet to come, letting them know that Dr. King's dream that children of all colors would be loved, honored, and appreciated. Help us move beyond hashtag Black Lives Matter to believe that all lives really do matter even in our schools, even when teachers are insensitive and wear clothing that shows they picked a side, rather than honoring the children in their classroom and being sensitive to their needs and how they feel. God, help our children to be able to breathe and believe that people of all color really do care about them, that racial intolerance, racial hatred, that evil in this world is not acceptable. God, help the grand juries to come back with decisions that honor police officers that give their lives daily, every day to protect and serve. But when it goes wrong, let justice roll like living waters. Yes. Give police chief and prosecutors the courage to speak wisdom and to feel the pain of crying communities. It's not just about law, but it's about justice and compassion. Oh God, help them to remember they were appointed in those positions, not because of their resumes, but because you chose them when they were yet in their mother's womb. They are not there to inflict punishment, but there to give justice, compassion, and mercy. Speak, Lord, your servants are listening. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen.